Understanding Data Clustering, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore an interesting and important topic in the world of data science, data clustering. Whether you're a beginner in English or just new to this concept, this video will help you understand what data clustering is all about. Let's dive in. Data clustering refers to the process of grouping data points in a way that data in the same group, or cluster, are more similar to each other than to those in other groups. Imagine you have a bunch of fruits. Clustering would be like grouping apples with apples and oranges with oranges based on characteristics like color, size, or taste. This technique is crucial in data analysis. It helps in understanding complex data by simplifying and organizing it into understandable groups. For instance, in marketing, clustering helps in segmenting customers into groups for targeted advertising. It's like sorting a mixed pile of clothes into separate piles of shirts, trousers, and dresses. There are several methods of data clustering, but the two main types are 1. Hierarchical clustering. This method creates a tree of clusters. Think of it as organizing books on shelves, then grouping these shelves into sections. 2. K-means clustering. This method divides data into a specific number, K, of clusters. It's like dividing a group of people into teams based on their skills. Data clustering is used in various fields. Some examples include, in biology, for classifying plants or animals into species and groups. In retail, to categorize products or customers for better business strategies. In social network analysis, to identify communities or groups within large social networks. I hope this video helped clarify what data clustering is and why it's so important in various fields. Remember, clustering is all about grouping similar items together to make sense of large amounts of data. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this information useful. See you in our next video.